Yes, Mr. Vice President. Yes, Mr. Vice President. Yes, Mr. Vice President. Absolutely, future President Gore. Ask him about my tax refund. Hey, guys, what's going on? Mike, get your tux on. The Vice President is ordering us by special command to do an Oscar special. Funny quips? You got them, sir. Glancing blows at the titans of Hollywood? They're built in. (laughs) A big musical number at the end featuring synchronized swimming and Michael Bolton and Madeleine Albright riding a monster truck? Can do. What are you telling him? Well, he's the Vice President. What else am I going to tell him? Well, you guys are on your own on this Uh one. But, Mike, it was ordered by the Vice President. So? (laughs) What's that, Mr. Vice President? Uh, Mike, he says if you do it, he can wipe that failure to yield off your driving record. Really? Huh? Hit it! No. Ah. It's the Al Gore Command Performance Oscar Special. (sighs) We're doing it all for Al Gore. Mike, Al says you're upsetting his daughters. Cut it out. Oh, sorry. Come on, Crow, let's rev this puppy up! Yeah! Oscar side! Yeah, <laughs> How will Gloria Stewart get to the Oscars this year? Will Minnie drive her? Or will Greg Kinnear? Or will she carpool with Robert Duvall? Will Burt Reynolds wear his gray toupee? Oh. Can Julianne Moore keep her pants on all day? It gets awfully hot in that hall. It's, it's Oscar, Oscar time in Hollywood. Helena Bonham Carter's up the wazoo. I'll be mutton chopped, Sir Anthony. Check out Dustin Hoffman's new do. Say that Robin Williams as Judd Hirsch. Judy Dench as downtown Julie Brown. But most of all, there's a nominee for Best Animated Short Film, La Vieille Dame et les Pigeons. Oh, no footage. Oh, sorry. On, On the, the mystery, mystery science theater, 3,000 vice presidential command performance, Academy of Robots Choice Awards, review special. Very nice. Stay tuned. When we return, we're going to pick this year's best picture. Phew. I almost got asphyxia singing that title. Oh, don't worry. We'll shorten it in post-production. Oh, okay. Hello, and welcome back to MST3K's Academy of Robots Choice Awards special. Pro? Thank you. Let's cast off with that unsinkable blockbuster, the movie that's still afloat at the theaters, breaking all box office records. Yes, it's full steam ahead. You know which one I mean. Mrs. Brown. Queen Judy Dench is nominated for Best Actress in this charming tale of Queen Victoria and her faithful horseman. Oh no, there's a wind blowing. Ray, he's got weights on the bottom of that skirt. This takes place after the death of Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, of In the Can fame. Oh, right. Having considered my position here in court... I'll hear no talk of positions. I have come to the conclusion that in Your Majesty's best interests, I should resign. My engines can't take it. I do not accept. I had foreseen that you would not. But Your Majesty should understand... Whoops, my kilt fell down. ...that I will not be changed in this. I leave for d The Queen forbids it. Oh, like you rule the whole country. Oh, you do. It's hard to be sexy when you're dressed like Bat Masterson. <laughs> no? I cannot allow it. Because I cannot live without you. I've been seeing another elderly queen. Without <laughs> you, I cannot find the strength to be who I must be. A frigid, empire-obsessed dowager. Please. Take off your kilts. <laughs> Promise me you won't let them send me back. I don't like school. My teacher hates me. Mmm, you taste like haggis. I promise. Ah, delightful. Well, our next offering is Wings of a Dove. Helena Bonzo Bonham Carter, former drummer for Led Zeppelin, is up for Best Actress this year. Mmm, is that bacon behind your ears? Last time I didn't feel sorry for her. Or some sort of black pudding? It's delicious. She was so happy dancing with you. You know, if you get winded from making out, you need more exercise. Yeah. 
happen to leave you alone with her? Well, maybe I can find another source for my salt. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, I am just beat. What were you talking about before? Before you started eating my ear. Don't look at me like that. You thought the same things. That Kenneth Bronagh's really hot. I need a room with a view. I got neck cramps from all our mashing. You want me to seduce a girl? Durr, hey. <laughs> and you really think she'll just leave me all her money? Yes. Why? Because I know her. I know how she loves. She loves in a clown suit. Ah, delicious. Our next film is called Good Will Hunting, and it's up for every award ever invented. It's a very clever title, you guys, because it's about a guy named Will Hunting. Ah. See, huh. and, and he's a tortured character, and the other characters in the film help him find the good parts of himself. Uh -huh. Hence the title, Good Will Good Hunting. Hunt Good Will See, Hunting. Yes. Right. Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to the Australian remake about a guy named Day Mate. It'll be called Good Day Mate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Very excited, though, about the upcoming film about a guy named Housekeeping Seal of Approval. Uh, anyway, called... Mike, uh, Mike uh, Good Will Hunting is directed by Gus Van Sant, who I'm sure many people remember as Mr. Carlin from the Bob Newhart Show. Hey, Hartley. Anyway, the main relationship is between this young fellow and his therapist, the unbelievably hairy Robin Williams. Do you think I'd know the first thing about how hard your life has been, how you feel, who you are? Because I read all of a twist. Nanu, Nanu. I can't learn anything from you. I can't read in some f***ing book. Oh, I read some geek book. <laughs> Unless you want to talk about you, who you are. I'm Leonardo DiCaprio, right? And I'm fascinated. I'm in. Mm. But you don't want to do that, do you, sport? Best staring by an average-looking 20-year-old. You're terrified of what you might say. Now here, the creepy genius teaches us about love. Okay, I'm putting that I think for me... <coughs> you know what I mean? I know you've been thinking about it. <coughs> oh, no, I, yes, you have. Yes, <laughs> you know, no, really have. Yes, you have. You haven't got a good night kiss. Uh-huh. You know, I, I was hoping to get a good night late. How noble I could be kissed, you know. <laughs> Very noble of you. <laughs> yeah. No, I was, I was hoping for a kiss. Let me just put more steak in my mouth. Well, why don't we just get out of the way now? Boom. Right now? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude, ah, black. Yuck. <laughs> Bits of ketchup and tomato and saliva co-mingling. Let's move on to something else. I think I got some of your pickle. <laughs> uh, ah, did lovely. We'll be hey, right... here's, here's one. How about a, a film about a guy named King Wenceslas Looked Out, huh? <sighs> then it could be called yeah. Good King Wenceslas Looked right. Out. Yeah. That'd be really yeah. clever, too. Yeah, we'll be right back. Yeah. How about a one about a guy named Hugh Moore Ice Cream? Mike, you know, that could be called Mike. Good Hugh Moore Ice Cream. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, welcome back to MST3K's Academy of Robots Choice Awards Special. Now let's take a look at one of the nominees for Best Picture, the delightful comedy As Good As It Gets, mm -hmm. which stars Jack Nicholas as a complete jerk. And Helen Bonham Hunt, who falls in love with him for no apparent reason. Yes, it's the feel-good hit of the year. Uh, I suppose this one's about a guy named As It Gets. Uh, huh? Let's just it... watch, Mike. Uh... I'm sorry, this makes me mad. That's uh, all I know, honey, I know. Thank you for being on time. I just gotta smash the windshield with a golf club and we'll get going Hi. here. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Carol the waitress, Simon the f Huh? Why did they bleep out former guy from Talk Soup? Hello? <laughs> Holy God, who did that to you? John Henson. Um, I was, I was attacked. I <clears throat> walked in on some, some men robbing me and I, I, I was hospitalized. I, I had acute smugness. I almost died. Let's do the small talk in the car. Uh, let's go. This fella totally rips off Christian Slater. Come on. Now you, sir. Oh, I was going to do that for you. It's all right. Where should we sit? Uh, I, uh, well, uh, well, there's no place cards or anything. It's I all thought right. Maybe you'd like you need all the room you can manage. So I'll sit in the back. Maybe they'll stuff Paul Reiser in the trunk. Oh. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, Danny DeVito's in that bag. Hey, guy! 
Well, one of the big surprises this year was oh, that... Oh, let me uh, guess. A movie about a, a nice guy named Golly Miss Molly. Uh, do you want to lie down for a while or something? No, I'll be fine. I, sure. Uh, no. Okay. Well, anyway, one of the big surprises this year was the decided snub of Steven Spielberg's film Amistad, with only four nominations. Nevertheless, there were some moving performances in this film. Not the least among them, Anthony Hopkins as the Lucky Charms Leprechaun and Morgan Freeman as Abraham Lincoln. Now don't forget the splendid performance of Dijonet's Monsoon, recreating his role as the guy on the giant ball in the Janet Jackson video. And a special mention goes to screen cipher Matthew McConaughey for his stirring portrayal of Mrs. Beasley, the doll from Family Affair. <laughs> well, sure to walk away with a boatload of awards this year is Titanic. Yes. Yep, it's about a guy named Titanic. Tyrone Tannic, you get it? Isn't that brilliant? You wanna no. give it a rest, Mike? Ah, it's just... Uh... Anyway, it's a compelling story which introduces us to an obscure footnote in maritime history about a little-known ship named Titanic. Here, former star Bill Paxton leads a daring to to expedition Titanic? to bookend the plot and meets Titanic survivor Lillian Carter. These are some of the things we recovered from your stateroom. Well, I used to spank my boyfriend with this. This was mine. How extraordinary. And it looks the same as it did the last time I saw it. In my train case two minutes ago. <sighs> the reflection has changed a bit. I'm translucent and papery now. Oh, heavens, it's my super fly fro pick. Where the hell's the matching brush, you stinking thieves? It's a bug hunt, man. Are you ready to go back to Titanic? Or are you going to cough up the money? <laughs> Escapees from My Fair Lady book passage on the doomed ship in the elaborate going away scene. So long, Arima Darcy. Don't forget to run out of mates. Bye -bye. See you in St. Louis, Bye -bye. screwy. Bye -bye. You know somebody? Of course not, that's not the point. Goodbye, I miss you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Gilbert Grape's brother. Goodbye, Ciccolini. Goodbye, overworked extras. Look out, iceberg. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> That must be the Titanic's bathroom fan. Wow, that's gonna spook the crappies, huh? Go to America and become cops and butchers and cab drivers. Someone must have cut one up there. Get out of the passing lane, moron. The, the other way, you're going the wrong way. I launch and nobody cares. Ooh. Leonardo DiCaprio is compelling in the role of a young Matt Damon. I can see the Statue of Liberty already. Uh -huh. That is small, of course. I'm gonna sink this bitch. I'm the king of the world! Packers! Woo-hoo! I just can't believe there were woo-woo guys on the Titanic. Ah, uh, Leonardo, you're right in my, uh, could you back up a little, please? Okay. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Billy Zane plays a Ken doll in girly makeup, who drools all over the cherubic Kate Winslet in this scene. Next week. But, I thought, tonight. Let it be low and brow. Good gracious. <laughs> Perhaps as a reminder of my feelings for you. Is it a diamond? diamond? Yes. <laughs> I was going to say donut, actually. Uh, 56 carats to be exact. Shred them, add the mayonnaise, some raisins. That's <laughs> great. It was worn by Louis XVI. And they called it Le Cour de la Mer. The, the heart, heart of the, of the ocean. ocean. Yes. Cour de la Mer, doesn't that mean middle of a female horse? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh. It's overwhelming. I think I'm going to barf. That's for royalty. We are royalty, Rose. God, I'm beautiful, aren't I? If I were gay, I'd love me. You know, there's nothing I couldn't give you. Uh, how about a three-headed goat? There's nothing I'd deny you. If you would not deny me. This is a booty call, isn't it? Essentially. Oh, 
open your heart to me, Rose. And by heart, I mean bloomers. Society Dame Kate soon falls for the infant Leonardo, and they dance like mini Pearl. Jump back, kiss myself. Take these, anonymous peasant. Mm. Yeah, rather than pulling themselves up by their bootstraps, poor people fritter away their time dancing. Come on, everybody dance like Mr. Green Jeans. You know, with all this hornpipe music, the ship can't sink fast enough for me. Hooray! We welcome the rich people into our midst, even as they do not welcome us. And this is a strong message that we need to convey. Come on, everybody, do the centrifuge! But things quickly turn grim as the mighty ship hits an iceberg, and before Mike, you Mike, know... Mike, Mike, no, no, you're gonna give away the surprise ending. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. sorry. <laughs> so, finish your homework, put your big pants and your Dr. Pepper lip gloss on, and go down and see Titanic for the 17th time. <laughs> now, we'll be right back with this year's best picture. Hello? Ah, yes, Mr. Vice President, yes. What? No, no, yeah, we, we know the ship sinks, sir. We were, uh... We were just trying to be funny. Yeah. Hi, welcome back. Hi. You know, there were a handful of nominated films that we uh, didn't get a chance to see. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? We have nothing else to do? Jeez. Right, right. Okay, first one is Jackie Brown. It's directed by that fiery young genius, Quentin Crisp. I think it's uh, another film about that Queen of England or something. Well, let's watch. Mm. Ooh, uh. <laughs> Ooh uh, definitely not about the Queen of England. Uh, next. Um, uh, they did something called um, Booger Nights? No, 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 Boogie Nights. Oh. I heard it's a fun-filled look at life in the 70s. Oh, good, this should be fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, actually, it's about porn. Hmm? Well, I call it maze. No, not that. Oh, whatever. The, the next. Okay, <laughs> this should be great. Yeah. Woody Allen's yeah. deconstructing yeah. hair. Yeah, tie me up. <clears throat> I'd like you to hit me a little bit and give me a Okay. A okay. then hit you. Huh. Oh, hit me. Well, then, uh, <laughs> must have got hold of Woody's home <laughs> movies by mistake. Yeah. Hit me. Oh, Yikes. Wow. Anyway, also nominated for best film this year is a foreign film. A tender story of the fragile lives of boarding school children in war-torn France. La Confidentiale. Actually, that's, that's L.A. Confidential. It's about cops and corruption in 1950s L.A. <laughs> so my French is a little rusty. Here, Detective Russell Crowe courts a lady of dubious virtue, played by Stephen Baldwin's sister-in-law, Kim Basinger. Can your policeman's mentality grasp those contradictions? What about that town you bought? What was that deal all about? He had you cut to look like Veronica Lake. No. I'm really a brunette. But the rest is me. Sergeant Chin bought. And that's all the news that's fit to print. So let's move to sports. It's nice meeting you, officer. Wow. That's the kind of door that really needs a moat outside to make it work. Yeah. I'd like to see you again. Are you asking me for a date or an appointment? Whichever gets me sex faster. I don't know. If you're asking me for a date, I should know your first date. I figured name. I asked. It was a mistake. I, I grabbed the wrong page of the script. Sorry. Well, I gotta go throw meat to Alex Brothers. And finally, the moment we've been waiting for. The movie which we predict will win Best Picture, despite its inconvenient lack of a nomination in said category. Yeah. Well, we're talking, of course, about Starship Troopers, yes. the only film that had the courage to tell the true story of our ongoing war with giant, intelligent insects. Yeah, let's see Gloria Stewart or Dame Judi Dench try to blast her way through an army of giant bugs. I don't think so. <laughs> The job of defending Earth falls to this group of perky 16-year-old models. Uh. Ew, there's a cockroach in there! <laughs> Tail hook mobilizes. There's a casting call for the new James Cameron film! Ah, uh, Charlton Heston's family reunion. Being invaded by Devo. <laughs> Commander Yasmin Bleef. This is Daryl Gates Community Outreach Program. Aw, <laughs> oh, hello folks. Welcome to our planet. 
Kiss my thorax. Oh, he's not. He couldn't. No. Oh, no. The bug's been eating in Taco Bell all day long. Ah. Number two, coming in. Later, our team gang battles giant herds of digital insects. You stepped on my pincer, you jerk. Oh, we were just enjoying a big Coca-Cola spill and a half a hot dog we found. Ow! I'm not a bug, I'm a peel and eat shrimp! The battlefield smells delicious, gentlemen. Now drop the drawn butter. Ah, so, Starship Troopers, it's gonna win everything. It is a lock. I'd bet every cent I owned on it if I were you. Yep. Well, guys, it's been a great MST3K Academy of Robots Choice Award special, but the speeches ran a little long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want to grab that, Mike? I got to return the monster truck before the dealer misses it. Yeah, and I got to drive Madeline Albright home. Uh, but, uh, okay. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Vice President. Uh, the, the remarks were made over the film clips? Oh, well, it's, well, it's kind of our hobby, I guess. I'm, I'm sorry if it was annoying. What? what? Oh, sure, yeah, sure, you can give it a try. You see the Titanic clip playing up there? I give it a shot, just try your best and I'll pass it on to the folks at home. You should probably hurry it up though, sir, because we're, we're almost out of time. What? <laughs> that's, that's good, sir. No, really, I'll, I'll pass it on, it's very good. Uh, the vice president says this movie was a Titanic success. <laughs> no, it was, it was good, sir, really. Funny or well? I suppose a, a remark just a, a tad more on the edge might... Sir? Well, yeah, I know I said that, but I didn't mean obscene. No, I won't pass that on. That was filthy. I... Look, you know what? I'd better hang up now. No, I... Yeah, yeah. I know I sound like Bob Newhart right now, but you're changing the subject. And... Oh, and you're, you're probably calling from your office again, aren't you? Sir? Sir, that was even filth... No, I'm hanging up. I'm... That's not funny, sir. That's just vile. I'm hanging up. No, goodbye.